McGough on the ground. Made a wonderful debut last week against the Hawks. And it slips a hand pass away to Freeborn. McGough running down towards right half forward. A centering kick. Cummings was up. Couldn't hang on. Goes with the outside of the boot intended for her. Couldn't hang on. McGough at close quarters. Freeborn. See at the moment. Keeping them in touch. Ball alive. McGough picks it up. Snaps around the body towards goal. And can't kick the goal in game number two. It's Clement though, aided by Lockyer. Spots a man towards the middle. That's a very clever kick. Gets it to McGough. It's good this kid, isn't he? He, he knows his way around, doesn't he? And, and he's going after the footy. He's not intimidated by the occasion. Second game in, he wants to be a part of this. Been very busy. Goes towards the middle. McGough taken high. we get the free kick on the other side. Put it in perfectly last week and again today to the middle. Clement, well weighted kick. Wakeland on the outer side kicks it wide towards the wing. McGough on his chest. The wise his years. Right center wing. Lights shining brightly. It's his big pair of eyes on him. He's scanning <laughs> everything. They're darting, aren't they? Yeah, he looks like he's put his finger in a PowerPoint. Exactly, Dennis, and they've attacked the square, which always makes them look more dangerous. Absolutely. McGough's got it on the outer side. Scratching every senior as Steinford. Knocked away by McVeigh from Holland. Jason Johnson intercepted McGough. Quick hands away to Davis. McGough. Collingwood terrific. But Beerus over the top. McGough down towards half forward looking for Scotty. How's that for the rookie? He's good, that kid. Hurt, well played. Hand passes away to Fletcher, floats one back towards the wing. McGough again. Well, what a game he's played. Coming up for his 20th possession, the young man. Big kid, isn't he? 186, listed at 82 kilo. He's heavier, heavier than that. He's, even though he's 186 centimetres, he's never going to play key position. He's definitely an on baller. Kicks towards the pocket. McGough. <laughs> Got it from Burns. Steinford tested about 20 metres out. In front, McGough, close to the boundary line, pulls it back. Just missed. Dennis, he has had 24 possessions. He's taken six marks, four clearances. He's pushed it inside 50 on three occasions, backing up from 22 touches last week. So that is a fair afternoon's work. Hey Mark, and you weren't overawed at all. A 17-year-old to come here in front of 84,000. Congratulations, how did it feel? Oh, it's just it's magnificent to get a win just in front of all these people. It's been a dream ever since a kid to play league football and play with the Collingwood Football Club. It's fantastic. You reckon they'll be watching up home at Mulwala and the boys the, the boys will be having a few beers watching? Yeah, I know my dad is and um, my friends at home, a lot of them came down from Mulwala and Yarrawonga. It's fantastic, yeah, just have a win. Just tell us about the start to your AFL career. 20 possessions last week. You go close to best on ground here today. It's been a dream start for you. Uh, it has just, uh, I can't describe it. It's just fantastic. I uh, just love playing in front of this crowd. The Collingwood supporters are great. Collingwood Club, it's just a fantastic club and it's good to have a win. How did you get here today? You haven't got your licence? Uh, Anthony Rocker picked me up and drove me here, so the boys just taking in turns and giving me lifts. Well, well done, Mark. You played a terrific game. You, you might just have a medal hanging around your neck in a moment's time. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks a lot. The winner of the Anzac Day medal for 2002 is Mark McGough of the Collingwood Football Club. A terrific effort for this young 17-year-old.